fully. Then now, so we go. Hear me now. Big up and bless up to all my beautiful and wonderful peeps. What's going on? I go by the name of African the Artist and welcome to my channel, ATA International Vlogs. And what we do over here is entertainment, upliftment, positive thoughts, and positive vibes, news, and reviews. You understand? And big up all the people them who has been subscribing to the channel. Big up to all the people them who has been loving the content. You understand? We just try to keep it real over here and try to bring it to you as we hear it or as frequent as possible. You see me? And you know we like to kick off the channel with a thought of the day. And today's thought of the day is don't put off what you can do for today for tomorrow. And reason being why I said that is kind of self-explanatory. You see, certain times, if you put off something where you can't do for today for tomorrow, it's like you're procrastinating. And procrastinating being is like, it will never happen or it not going to happen for now. You understand? So it's like, you keep on and say, oh yeah, you're going to do it, you're going to do it. And then you keep on a prolong, a prolong, a prolong. And, you know what I mean? Until you probably, what frequently or what might happen in these cases when you keep on put off something where you can do for right now, for tomorrow, is you're going to forget about it. You see me? So that's why I say don't put off what you can do for today, for tomorrow. So if it's even a little bit of whatever it is you can do, or if it's even a little time that you can spend doing whatever it is that you say you're going to do, spend a little bit of time on it. You see me? Don't put off the timing because... You know what I mean? Tomorrow, today is a promise to you. Tomorrow is a promise to nobody. So you never can tell what might happen for tomorrow. You might end up getting doing something else. You know what I mean? Life is a journey. You don't know what can happen. You might end up, you know what I mean? Something go wrong wherein you have to totally just forget about what you're going to do or totally just don't do it again because whatever come up, for tomorrow is so important that you just have to say, put that off. You see me? So don't put off what you can do for today, for tomorrow. If it's even a little bit, just try and get a little done. You see me? Yeah, man, big up and bless up to all of the people who has been loving the content. And like I said, this is ATA International Vlogs and I go by the name of African the Artist. So now let's talk about some um, international news, right? A lot of people is having to say that gonna snitch and young tug what you guys think you know you know what i mean i'm gonna give you my opinion what i think about the situation you see me and it's a very we you dancing now? it's a very touchy subject you see me yeah because you don't know your role with somebody anybody your role with especially if you call them your friend or you call them your co-worker or your companion you know what i mean you're supposed to have a role hand in hand you see me? Yeah, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. If you can't take the heat, don't go into the kitchen. You always have them saying that. You see me? So now you have Gunnar. There's a video cir circulated with him now in court. And there's a few questions asked, right? According to Young Tug, YSL, YSL, whatever they, 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 they call it, YSL group or what, YSL affiliates or YSL should be a musical production group or a musical production company. Now they ask Gunnar about YSL. And the question I think, the question that was asked, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, the question that was asked by the judge, by, was asked to Gunnar, is if the group is a gang or, you know what I mean, or it's a musical thing or whatever, you know? You guys can correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but at the same time, I think Gunnar said that it's a, his, his, his answer was yes. The question that they asked him was a yes or no. So he had to reply yes or reply no. So they asked him, if, for instance, I think the question they asked was if the YSL is a musical group or it's affiliated with gang and gang members. And he said, yes, it's gang and, you know what I mean? So it's not really musical, but, or if it's both, but, it has to do with gang. So right away it's kinda implicating young talk. You see me? Because you don't know you and a person is working together. If it's a if it's a musical thing, it's a musical thing. But if it's a gang thing, well, it's a gang thing. And I think yeah, his his answer was yes, it's like it's a gang. 
You see me? Another thing now, another question that was asked. When they arrested him, he was in the car with Young Tug. No other else person was in the car with Young Tug. And they asked him, they find like codeine or some met meta, I don't really remember the name, metaphalene or whatever that name, but some kind of drugs. Or drugs was in the car and gun was in the car. And they asked him that uh, this stuff that was in the car doesn't belong to him, yes or no. You see me? And I think he said the answer, the answer that he gave was that it didn't belong to him at all. So if it's two of you in the car, who does it belong to? You see me? And you, if you and a person apart and you and this person supposed to be, you know what I mean, hands in hands or say whatever, you know, you and the person are role. So right away you kind of give away your, 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 your friend, your family, your co-worker, you know what I mean? Right away it's like you put all the blame on him. You know what I mean? So everything belongs to him basically. Well, you're in a certain situation and you want to get out. And you want to get out right away. Well, what else you going to do? You guys let me know what you think. Did he snitch on Young Tug or did he not? Or what did he do? You know what I mean? That was wrong or what did he do that was right? You see me? Yeah. For me, for me if I put myself in that situation, you know what I mean, which I've been in this, been in certain type of situation like this before. You understand? And I don't know if you have somebody a role. You're supposed to ready for like me say, if you can't take the heat, don't go into the kitchen. So if you have somebody a role, you expect say, yo, hands in hand, yo, we are do this, we are stick together, we are roll together, and I saw the thing go. You understand me? I say, yeah. So you don't know the thing go. Like I said. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. It's a very touchy situation. Did he snitch? Did he not? Did he do the right thing? You see me? Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. You know what I mean? Like I said, my opinion, I think yes, he did kind of put all the blame on his bridging. Like he could have stand there, drugs charge. He could have do something for at least don't make all the blame fall on um, Young Tug. He could have stand there, drug charge because I don't know. If it's not the first, if this is your first charge and you're going and you're going in for drugs, that's a simple slap on the wrist. You know what I mean? Simple thing for you to come out. If you don't want to stand the gun charge, or you don't have to stand the gun charge, you can't. You know what I mean? So well, the gun is, you know, need ours. I don't know if the gun is his or you know what I mean, but it's not mine. But at the same time, yeah, the drugs, uh, whatever, can't split it. But you see what I mean? I say, that's just my opinion. You understand? If you're on a person, a roll together on them thing there. That's what you call brotherhood or good brothership, brothership, you know what I mean? If you don't do, the, if you don't do dirt together, you know, expect say, yo, the two of you are going to pay for it. You understand what I mean? I say, yeah. Or, don't do it at all. And my thing is, don't do it at all. You see what I mean? I say, yeah. If you don't do it big already, talk done big already, gun are done big already, certain little things you don't need for you. Do. You don't need heavy, you don't, you don't need big. You see me? Another thing we want to touch on, we see um, Dr. Love kind of a beat Futter Hype bad because Futter Hype tried to. If you guys follow up my vlogs and you see what I did, um, I talked about Coffee yesterday and the feature that she had with Sam Smith and Jesse Reyes. And I think um, Futter Hype like, kind of lash out against her big time. You know what I mean? So I think now Dr. Love is kind of going against foot hype once the foot hype can't go back to Jamaica. And if he go to Jamaica, like people is going to hold him and beat him. And Dr. Love have some valid points wherein he's saying to Futa because I think Futa is in America and he's trying to get his status there. You understand whether it be a permanent citizen or however that works or, you know, a, a permanent resident. And then now he's trying to let him know that he have to be careful what he's been saying because if he's kind of going against certain type of people in society, he can affect his status if he should go in before an immigration judge. Like they can pull his file or his record and then when they look at all these things, they can see that you're, um, what they call it now, they have a certain name for it when, when, when you kind of go against a certain race or a certain type of people. You understand me, I say? Because... They, they call it a certain type of thing where in yes you can get into trouble for it you understand me i say because you, you're not supposed to be um, um still searching for the name for it but you're not supposed to be bashing other people you see what i say yeah whether they want to live certain type of lifestyle or what you leave them make them live them lifestyle and 
if they don't have anything to do with you, if they're not crossing paths with you or trying to get you involved in their type of lifestyle, you have to leave them alone and make them do whatever they want to do. You see me? But I guess the type of person that put a hype is a stand-up person, so it's going to try vices, opinion, or vices, facts. You see me? So I just think he said he's the only one fighting for truth and righteousness and nobody else is helping him to burn a fire, so he's going to continually burn the fire. You see me? Yeah, so I think Dr. Lover go against him hard and I say anyway go back to Jamaica, people are going to beat him for coffee. You see me? Yeah, another thing we want to talk about is Quadda and Unruly Boss, Popcorn. Because nobody else is carrying this, 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 this topic or nobody has really stressed on it or if somebody do or did already, I haven't really come across it yet or I haven't seen it, but I just feel the need to come now and kind of Ask you guys opinion, ask you guys factual, you know, hear what you guys want to have to say about this, you know. And just remember, I go by the name of African the Artist and this is ATA International Vlogs. Tell a friend, tell a friend, and if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification, you see me. And I always try to stress with you, a lot of things discussed over here might not be for you. So what I encourage you to do is share the channel share the platform with other people so they get in twine or you know in tune with what is going on over here especially the motivational topics of the day you know what i mean that might elevate somebody's day that might you know give a person the thumbs up that they're great they're beautiful you know what i mean and you know continue doing what they're doing because they're a good person within and inside and out so now let's touch on the quarter and the popcorn situation you see me i think what my opinion is, I think, you see, Quada get, um, I think him and Popcorn kind of get wrong or start go them separate ways from Quada caught that court case or from him caught that case. If you guys can remember a while back or maybe still going on right now where he's in court or he have an outstanding case going on where I think they're charging him for some murder of somebody in his community or something of sort like that. And I think that Popcorn figure more or less say. in my opinion I just think you see with popcorn now I just think if anything bad if you do with his brand because you don't know his brand already have a gangster name already and Roly you see me so I just think anything with bad that come close or try to affiliate with his brand I think he's not gonna let that happen because he already have a tarnished reputation and that reputation is with uh, Vibes Cartel you see me so I think anything that come close or try for you see me? Try for get entangled with his brand or his reputation, I think he's gonna stay far from it. Because remember, he already have a thing going on with Vibes Cartel we are in. They already saying he's affiliate, he's a big affiliate of Vibes Cartel. That's why I think he can't really go to the States. You see me? Yeah, so I think that's where you know he don't want whatever quad do start, you know, he start get involved with it or get mixed up with it. So now it's like, you know, he can't get to travel again or travel to go other places just because his brand gonna be affiliated with affiliating with murder again. So that's gonna be like two two things being called, two murder cases being called on the unruly brand. You see me? Yeah, which one from Vice Cartel and one from Quadra. So my thing said the one with with, with Quadra is because it it's um they're just, you know, I think because it's new and you know, young or whatever the case may be and unruly you know, uh, have that thing been calling on, on their name. So I think that's where him and Quadra kinda get wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just think from that court case or from that case being calling up I think he was the one who bailed Quadda out of jail the first time. Cause I remember Quadda do some time. I don't know how long he was in jail for maybe a couple of months. But at the same time, I think Popcorn got a lie and I think he, um, he got him out. But from he got him out, I think that's where they kind of start moving their separate place. Just because I think so. And I don't really wrong him because I don't know say, he's doing his thing already. And anything for, anything for really stop, for, for stop him from making his food, making his bread. I even me if I should be in that situation anything for you st make me stop make my food or make my bread I'll take myself away from it and I will move far from it so I just think that's why he kind of you know move away himself because he's traveling he's doing his music you know I'm a thing so him not really want to get certain things involved or mix up with his name 
You see me? Because you yeah, remember, I think Koda was traveling with him a lot of places and you know, doing his music. I just think so, you know, they just start going separate places from that quote thing. So, let me know if I'm wrong, if I'm right, but I just think say, that's where Unruly and Quada start going their separate ways from that court case or from a Carter case. You see me? For murdering or something like that. I don't know. Well, hopefully, if the case is finished, if the case is finished, that means uh, he's innocent. He didn't do nothing wrong. You see what I mean? I say? Or hopefully, if the case is still going on, hopefully, it turn out that he's innocent or he didn't in get, he wasn't involved in it. You see what I mean? I say? So, and then him can continue doing music the way he should because he's kinda in and out, in and out of the in and out of the musical world. Now you will see him and then it's like differently you don't see him. So I don't know if something bothering him. You understand but Quada, he's a great artist and I hope you continue to make music. So I mean I say and continue to make some good music. You're a good artist always and make the good music. Them just continue. You understand what I mean I say? Cause Music is a journey and you now watch to me you have a platform already and you have lots of fans You have people who look up to you, bro So I think if you continue to give people them some music and you know, what I mean continue to elevate because That's when it's that only way you know you see music around in Jamaica is you have to Consistently been dropping consistently drop some music for your fans them or for the people them who are rate you make them know say yo yeah me there or even if you not drop music start a little vlog channel and do something make the people them know say yeah you're still there and you're still motivated and you're still doing motivational stuff or you're still doing whatever it is you see me yeah man out of sight out of mind so don't make the people them don't get caught up in that situation out of sight out of mind cause then you know say it's like you're gonna be losing, you might not be losing your fans, but at the same time, the care for your fans towards you might be channeling somewhere else. It's like they find other artists that they're looking up to, or other artists that they rate and all. And you know what I mean? Yes, they're still fond of you, but at the same time, their direction is channeling somewhere else. You understand? Life is all about energy, and wherever the people them feel the energy, that's where they're gonna channel. That's where they're gonna move towards a good energy whether they want to be bad or whatever but you don't know people move off of energy you see me a lot of people move off of energy another thing which is going on in the dance hall space you have mc nuffy i go again shelly and current wicked 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 for shorty you know and mc nuffy is saying oh he was the one who grow shorty and them things he don't really care shorty don't really like him or want to talk to him but at the same time he was the one who grow her and um you want Shelly and Curran to leave her alone, you see me? Because our program, according to him, he said the lady, program the hot, which me think, yo, she is doing a good job. It's what everybody do. You know, it's social media. And I don't explain to you guys already about social media. If you guys will check out the last vlog that I do, I explain about social media, you see me? MC no feel the woman, man. You see me? To me, me just think y'all look at... Uh, you call it, you want to in the spotlight because from what you say, you just see you just a jump out, you know. You see, pray. Yeah, man, from what you just a jump out from Sting. It's like you just get hot, you know. And are the same thing you are do, where she are do. You understand me? I say, if you really take a look on you, are the same thing the two of them do. You see me? Because Sting come out and a lot of people come and voice their opinion, and then boom, you just jump out because you find the time now and you see where it fit for you come voice your opinion. And at the same thing the lady I do. You see me? Everybody have to eat some way, somehow. And then you can't wrong a person from doing what they're doing for either kickstart their business and you know what I mean? You see me? The people they have to build their platform and once they build their platform, they can change the topics or change certain things that they're doing. But if they don't have a platform and they find it, that's the only way they can build it. They might go build it somewhere or somehow. You see me? Mm-hmm. Big up all the people them who stay to the end of this vlog. You don't know the thing go. I go by the name of African the Artist and welcome to ATA International Vlogs. And the thought of the day is don't put off what you can do for today, for tomorrow. Just remember that. And if you guys are not yet following me on all social media, make sure you go ahead and follow me at African the Artist. It's African the Artist. So one word all together. African the Artist. On Audio Mac, Spotify, iTunes. Bandcamp, YouTube, Snapchat, 
TikTok. You guys name it. You see me? You name it, you have it. Let's make sure so you guys go follow me. You see me? Yeah, man, I support the music. I already dropped three projects, like I said. And I have something new. Uh, drop soon for you guys. And if you guys follow my YouTube, which is African The Artist, you guys can go see. You know what I mean? Go check out the community section. I post a few things over there that i uh, be dropping currently or shortly. You see? How big up all the people them who keep on showing love over here? You know what I mean? You see it? Yeah, man, I love phone. I see me. I go by the name of African the Artist and this is ATA International Flocks. Then no so we go, dance our rock star. Fully.